Hello, this is Jeff Attal, Flater Mouse. A lot of people, including myself, have wanted to know how much pressure is building up inside these test tubes. I epoxied a thermometer probe inside the test tube, keeping it centered and away from the direct heat so we can get a good idea how much the temperature is inside. Once we know that, we can look at a chart and figure out what kind of pressure is inside. It's all relative. Now in this experiment, things are a little bit different. Um, I'm using a different brand of test tube. This is a Kymax test tube. The other one was just some weird generic one. This is a 125 millimeter test tube. The other test tubes I used were 155 millimeter. I used about 10 milliliters of water in this and I added some blue dye to it so we could maybe see what's going on. I made a simple wire holder and position the test tube more horizontally in this test also. In our first two experiments, the first one being water, the second being olive oil, the epoxy plug at the top of the test tube was what blew out each time. And each time the test tube went flying off in the opposite direction at a pretty high speed. So I decided to put a brick behind this to keep the test tube from flying off into the unknown. We're well above the boiling point of water at um, atmospheric pressure at sea level, which is 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. Since we're in a sealed container, the pressure has nowhere to go, so it just starts building up, and we can get temperatures way above 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Of course, at atmospheric pressure, these kind of temperatures are impossible to achieve. The most you can get is 212 degrees when you're boiling something at sea level. This time the test tube is what failed at about 333 to 336 degrees Fahrenheit. So what kind of pressure are we looking at here? So we look at our saturated steam chart and at 333 degrees we're about 92.7 PSIG gauge pressure. I gotta admit I thought the pressure inside these tubes was gonna be much higher than that. I was guesstimating 3 to 500 PSI a lot lower than I thought and we're looking at about three times the pressure inside of a average car tire here. So anyway I hope you found this interesting. We got more cool ideas coming up. Thanks for watching.